state and federal fire agencies out working together to actually doing live fire training. Um, so what we're trying to do is build a little bit more of a camaraderie um, during a non-emergent issue. Uh, most of the time when we get state, local, and federal agencies together, it's um, usually because it's, it's, it's a big disaster or a big emergency that's going on. This is our opportunity to actually you know, work side by side, um, learn a lot more from them than, and then them learning from us. Uh, you know, we, we carry lots of water on the structural side. Uh, we're used to you know, taking care of buildings and that. And these guys are used to just having five gallons of water and putting out a very large wildland fire. Uh, it's been really nice having him here, helping out with this. Um, Andy here is uh, from Newport. He's also a, uh, a division soup. Um, he goes out on the uh, the Lincoln County uh, task force teams and uh, and it just keeps an eye on our troops and kind of helps everybody get working on the same game plan. Some of the operations we're doing today aren't normally ones you'll deal with on the coast. Uh, backfires and burnouts. Um, where a lot of the structural crews rarely get to do that. Some of the wildland crews mainly do when they go off district. Um, this is an opportunity for folks not only to work together with different fire agencies, but like Dennis said, the other uh, agencies such as state and federal. Um, today we're using some devices that, again, they don't normally get to play with, but we do get to work in some of the conditions that they will deal with along the coast with the brush and heavy grass fuels. And with 4th of July coming up, um, today we burned in conditions as high as 80% fuel mo uh, moisture and we're, or, um, 80% humidity and um, we're still getting very active burning which is not common on the coast. Um, conditions we're seeing today are usually what we see in mid to late August so the danger is definitely out there. Uh, we're just trying to get a jump on it, get newer firefighters trained and ready to go for a possibly very crazy summer.